the man was all shot through that came today into the barrack square. And a soldier I am not proud to say that we killed him there. They brought him from the prison hospital and to see him in that chair, I swear his smile would far more quickly call a man to prayer. Maybe, maybe I don't understand the same. Ready, aim. Ready, aim. Ready, aim. Ready, aim. Then they shot the her bastard. Ironic, in it? That fucking cripple, James Conley, a dead fucking cripple, brings an empire to its knees. Isn't that right, fucking? But you know, all these changes have happened over the years. Ireland is now a totally different and better place. Isn't that right? Don't fucking answer that. Do you know why? Because that's a rhetorical question. Aye, rhetorical. School wasn't completely wasted on me. A rhetorical question in this situation is a question that you don't fucking answer! Don't fucking answer. Gives me a profit. Load of power. This makes the iron balls twink, twink, twink. Anticipation makes me hard as fuck. But! And I'll repeat. The real changes happen over time. Isn't that right? The real changes happen over happen over time. That Ireland's now a totally different place. All these great changes. Isn't it great? All those changes, all those changes, all those changes. Do they fuck? Otherwise, you wouldn't be here! None of you cunts would be here. But you are. Well, not for much longer, mind you. We will kill you. Changes are needed if we're to bring this war back. Real fucking changes. And me, Malachi Tierney, me, Malachi Tierney, have to do something about that. Things will never end till there's real fucking concrete change. That Ireland is a united nation once again. Real changes. And it's in our hands. My hands are hands. If the Arabs can do that with their fucking shitty little planes, then I will fucking do my end and new beginning. My end and new beginning. Brits out at all costs, Mark. At all fucking costs. Reach under your chair. Go on, reach under your chair. Reach under your chair. It's not gonna bite you, like. Heavy, isn't it? Feel all those curves. The writing, the writing is on the walls. Tyrone Brick, Ulster free and free. What does that brick mean to you? Right, fair enough, it's a fucking brick. Like, I know that, you know what I mean? But what does that brick say to you? It might mean that, fair enough, you know? Fucking fair enough, you know? But, did you know that fucking Jerry Adams Ian Paisley and we Marty McGinnis keep talking about them. All these fucking politicians sitting around a fucking table talking about bricks. And they agree, because they're busy mates now, like each one's tongue is brown as the next. But you know, you have all these fucking politicians sitting around a table talking about fucking bricks. A heavy piece of fucking square dust like the one in your fucking hand. Do you know, do you know why? Because they want to build, build a new progressive. Northern Ireland, a new flagship in the corner of the continent. British, but not British. Irish, but not Irish. Northern Irish, but not Northern Irish. Ulster, but not Ulster. European in the arse. Bullshit, bullshit. Because you know what this brick tells me? This fucking brick tells me, it tells me, it tells me, don't waste it on an armored Land Rover, keep it for a cop car, aim for the windscreen, more damage, more pain, no pain lost until Ireland is a United Nation once again, a nation once again.
a nation once again, and Ireland long a province be a nation once again. No pissy pissy misunderstandings, united 32 counties like it was and was meant to be. Happy days, and it's in our hands. years ago, a real son of Ireland died. Christ, I felt my rifle shake around his chair a pool of blood. And I swear his lips said fire. And I, I was picked to kill a man like that. James Connolly. 26 years ago I met that real man. Not James Connolly, like fucking long dead he was. Still living on a spirit, always will. But the real man that I met, this real life son of Ireland, this real fucking man that I met 26 years ago, that real man, my dad, big fur tearing hunger striker, someone to be proud of. First time I met him in a fucking prison hospital, you know. This is your dad's son. And I said, you know. First time I met my dad, my fucking daddy, like, first time I met him, I couldn't think about hunger strikes or fucking causes or none. All I could think about was my uncle in that pitch dark room. My uncle, he was my man's brother. Had this wee shop in fucking West Belfast. He was a butcher, you know. We were fucking dosing around the back, me and my cousins, like, you know, playing fucking Dungeons and Dragons or whatever the fuck, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> With meat hanging from the fucking ceiling, you know? Fucking pigs skinned alive, fuck. All that, you know what I mean? And then they, because in those days, I used to be the smallest and the weakest. They loved me in this fucking pitch. Surrounded by rotten meat, the fucking main thing, you know? Fucking surrounded by rotten fucking meat. Go on, fucking breathe it in. Breathe it the fuck in, because you can't fucking ignore that. You can't ignore that fucking smell. That smell doesn't fucking leave you, you know? That same smell came back to me when I met my dad. 26 years ago, when I met this real life son of Ireland, that same smell, that fucking same smell. He was sitting in that fucking prison hospital bed, rotting underneath some covers, you know. Slowly rotting for Ireland, this brave man, someone to be proud of, you know. Slowly rotting for Ireland, you know. When I met him, all I could smell was that fucking smell, you know. Then, he's staring at me. Staring at me with those fucking grey in your eyes, staring at my face. But I couldn't think about causes or not, you know. He's there in the bed, you know, breathing deep. Had the oxygen thing over his mouth, you know, his real life son of Ireland. And he's breathing deep. And he looks at my face. But I couldn't think about none of that republicanism or anything. All I could think was the fucking 
rotten meat. I'll tell you what, there's no fucking hard on in that situation. But now, change is in my hands. Our hands, my hands, Malachi Kenny's hands. Do you know? Real changes. Real change comes through sacrifice, my sacrifice, do you know? If, when, no, when I fucking act. They won't sing for me in the fucking pubs. They won't sing for me like they sing for Conley, for my fucking dad. They won't sing for me. Because those fucking traitors have given fucking up hope. Do you know what? <laughs> but we will restore pride. We will show how fucking Britain does not give a fiddler's fuck about us. Do you know, get those fucking soldiers like East fucks back on the streets, you know. And then they will once again sing with pride. They will look at us with fucking pride. Oh, they carry him up through the jail. They carry him up through the jail. And they shot him down in a bright May morning. And quickly laid him in his gore. You still got your brick? Fuck it away. Because you don't fucking need them anymore. Because my life started off with bricks. A thousand arms swinging, screaming, I R I R A! I R I R A! I R I R A! Bricks turned to petrol, petrol turned to bomb, dispose of these fucking soldiers, and then. Me. Me. If the Arabs can do that with their shitty little fucking king, then I can do with a real IRA for Ireland. Because those fuckers have given up their fucking guns. For a fucking compromise! My dad didn't compromise. Conley didn't compromise. They give up their lives, because real men give their lives for change, and I will fucking do. Do you know what? For Ireland, for Conley, for my dad, and for the freedom, and for the fucking spring, and freedom clear in the sky. Do you know what? <laughs> they will sing. They will sing. Oh, they buried him down in yon green garden with union men on every side and they swore they'd form a mighty weapon that James Connolly's name would be filled with pride. Do you know what? <laughs> As for you fucks, You have your orders, Malky. You have your fucking orders. Fucking do it, Malky. Do it, Malky. Do it for Ireland. Do it for your dad. Do it for Conley. Do it for the freedom and the spring clear in the sky. Because real men give their lives for change. Real men sacrifice 